Hello, my name is Russ, and I am a novice blacksmith. I'm here today to talk about tongs, namely some good ones and some bad ones. I've been blacksmithing for a few years, and normally I buy tongs. Uh, you can find a decent pair for anywhere from $10 to $15 at a good blacksmith meet. I've also made my own tongs. This is a pair I made at a class hosted by the Adirondack Folk School. Very happy with these. I've even won tongs in fortune contests. And one of the things you'll notice about all of these tongs is they have kind of long handles or reins. This is useful for a lot of things, but the two most important reasons are, one, it keeps your hand away from the hot thing, but more importantly, it gives you a spring action. So when you hold down on a piece, When you hold a piece and you squeeze, you get a little bit of flex, and that gives you a really strong grip. You know, with these bolt jaw tongs, you can't go in very deep, so you only hold a little bit of it, which isn't great when you're trying to forge different parts of the blade. And they can rack real easy, and this is meant to hold a, a piece of diamond square. So it's great for holding small bits around, you know, but when you get into the bigger knife handles, it doesn't work as well. So I ordered a pair of tongs from a guy online who made tusk-style tongs, which I thought were really neat. And here's a set of his tongs. And I'm not trying to badmouth the guy, but these don't work very well at all. In fact, I ordered several tongs from him, and none of them are very good. So let's talk about what's wrong with these and why they don't do the job well and what needs to change. Another set of tongs the same guy made, I guess are meant to hold round, but that's tiny. Look at that minuscule length. Are you really going to be able to hold a piece safely if you've got less than an inch that you're grabbing it by? I mean, that's choked in all the way and we're not even at an inch. And with the lack of reins, I can't get that springy action. So this is never very secure. They hold too short a length. The reins are too short. And the final and third problem with the tongs this guy makes, they only hold a specific size. There's very little variation. I saw tusk style tongs, which is what these are. And I think these have a lot of potential because they give you a very, very secure grip. Everything wraps around the blade or the stock, but there's a problem with these that again makes them almost useless the way they are. And that problem is, well, one, they can only hold the exact size stock they're made for, and they can only hold it in this far. There's no additional choke. So you can't get it, you can't hold this any other way, you can't hold it any other length. And once again, we're back to barely an inch of stock is secured within the tongs. And to me, that just isn't safe enough. And the fix to this is really easy. And I have fixed a pair of tongs like this. These are a pair I purchased, but I reforged. And first, longer reins, right? Now I get that flexing action. These are smaller than the other pair, they hold a wider variety of material, and the number one thing I like about them is now they can hold the material at any point along its length with a very secure grip. And look, my hand's never close to it, right? This can be glowing hot along its entire length, and that's the closest my hand will ever get. And what a grip! This doesn't move at all. If you've got a
decent little squeeze on the reins, this is the safest way to hold this stock that I have found. No other style of tongs I've found holds stock this securely at any point along its entire way. Even better, when you have it in an X, you have a lot of flexibility in where you can grab it. This is the narrowest part of this blank. But this is the thickest part. And again, we have an excellent grip anywhere along the length. So you can hold the blank securely anywhere along its length and hammer. Your tongs are out of the way. You do have to hold the piece at a bit of an angle, but other than that, I really like holding my knives this way when I'm forging. This is the first pair of tongs I got from the guy. And I don't know if, I don't know why they work so well, but I used them until they broke. And if you notice, there is not much of an offset here. This goes in a straight angled line. The jaws of the tong make you think it can hold material this big, but the problem is this dimension. Do you see that V and how it tapers? That means that this limits the maximum dimension of material the tongs can hold, regardless of the angle you use. The tongs that I reforged have an offset that is consistent throughout the entire length of the jaw. See that nice big square in there? Now that only t would have taken a moment to do when these tongs were being forged. And now you can see that's why these tongs are so much more useful because the material can slide in and out its entire length. But with these, with these tongs, if the material is thicker than this dimension, it cannot slide through. It binds up when it hits the bottom. You simply don't have room to choke down on those anymore, and you end up with an insecure grip. Even without using these in the offset handle formation, much stronger grip because it's able to close where it's supposed to instead of grabbing in the middle. So think about that if you're a tong maker. What are the dimensions that the customer really needs to hold? So I didn't create this video to be a jerk or to call anyone out. That's why I'm not naming anyone by name or showing me logos. But I do hope the person who made these watches this video and learns a little bit from it. Because once they have the offset in them, these are the best knife making tongs I've ever used. They can hold any shape securely at any point along the blade. Look, this wide blade, no problem. Nice strong grip might work on these because now we're thinner than that narrow dimension, but we're still binding up in that narrow portion, right? So these won't work even though these are bigger tongs. So I didn't create this video to be a jerk or to call anyone out. That's why I'm not naming anyone by name or showing me logos. But I do hope the person who made these watches this video and learns a little bit from it. Because once they have the offset in them, these are the best knife making tongs I've ever used. Thank you for watching my video on tongs. I hope you learned a little bit about what makes a good set of tongs and you'll tune in again. Thank you.